This is even better than what I thought. Welcome back into the Chesscraft International Tournament, Round 2, and this is where the true fun begins for our 36 contestants as they have to play two games on a typical Chesscraft board named No Step on Snake. The shape of this board is very particular as the various pieces you may find here. We have snakes that move forward this way and capture like a pawn, very tricky pawn type units. I actually covered this piece on the channel if you are interested. We have then frogs that move and capture by jumping with this really froggy pattern, very cool minor piece. Then comes the centaur which is a fusion between a knight and a king, and a basilisk which is a rook range 5. But be careful of the snakes, because they promote in the back rank to hydras, which are hellish to counter as they move and capture like so. So there will be a lot of positional issues and sneaking tactics through the games, and gosh, some of these games are just insane. The first match of this round opposed Uzla Ivafia from Greece against Fagex from Russia. Try not to lose your mind with all the snakes around the board. Snake G to F3, Snake E to F7, Snake E to F4, Snake F to E7, Frog to G4, and Centaur to F8, the central barrier. We have then Snake to H4 and Frog to G7 challenging the center. Frog captures, Centauri captures and Basilisk to G1 to get the open file. Black plays Frog to D7, and after Basilisk to G5 Snake to F6 Basilisk to D5 and Snake B to C8. This is now time for the snakes to sneak. Snake to I4, Snake to E6 kicking the Basilisk, Snake to I8, Snake F to G5, Snake captures, Snake recaptures, and the Black Basilisks join the party. Snake to D4, Snake to D6, Snake to C6, and Frog to A7. As the game is now opened on both sides each player will try to infiltrate the first. Snake B to C4, Frog to A4, Snake to B6, Snake to J7, Snake to B7, and Snake to H6 removing the defender of the snake. White counter attacks on C6, and pushes forward, removing all the defenders to promote his snake. The only problems is that he's now very vulnerable on the left side, and Black will try to take advantage of that. Basilisk to d7, Frog to c5, Basilisk to b8, Snake to c4, Frog to d4, winning the snake. So Uzla of Athia seems to be slowly crushed by Fagex, but the only twist is that Black forgot to watch out for the snake. So White is gonna get an Hydra and win the game. Unless black keeps giving checks and white answers the worst way possible. And believe it or not, this is exactly what happened. So the second match of this round opposed the American Chesscraft moderator Philo against Viron from Brazil. This is game 2 and Philo won the first one. This second game is surely one of the most aggressive games played on this round. Let's go. Snake to i4, Snake c to d7, Snake to b4, Snake e to f8, and Basilisk comes out very early. We have Frog to e9, Frog to d4, Frog to e6 and frog to d4, transposing into the full naga temple side opening. So black controls the center with a closed chain, and white prepares his strong pieces for the main fight. Frog to g7 to challenge the center and after frog captures and snake recaptures, we have centaur to e5 brutally sneaking in. The best way to defend is to play centaur to f8, but black didn't see it, and instead blundered two snakes at once. We have Frog captures, Frog recaptures and Centauri captures and White is taking over. Black called for an exchange but Philo refused it. So Virom started to panic and played Snake to G8, which is a big blunder. 
So after losing both of his basilisks, this is in this position on move 13 that Vyrom decided to resign the game. So much violence here. So the third game of this round opposed Bird from Egypt, from Philippines against Sky History from Thailand. If the previous game was the brutal one, this game can be called the Hungry Hippo game. Snake D to C3, Frog to D7, Frog to G4, Snake H to G8, Centaur to F3, Snake C to D8, Snake D to C4, Snake G to F7, and White just gave a free snake for nothing, then a free basilisk for nothing, then a free frog for nothing, and then Black exchanged the basilisks, and then he exchanged the frogs, and White is now completely losing. We have snake h to g4, snake f to e7, snake to a4, and snake 9 to f7, but because white played centaur to h4, sky history remembered he actually had a centaur and start bringing it forward, and forward, and forward, but white's centaur is blocking the way so he'll have to wait. <laughs> Never mind. So after Centaur takes g6, White started to panic and play moves, but the game is already over. We have Basilisk to h6 check, but White knew Black Centaur's appetite and played Snake h5. And guess what, the Centaur took. So Snake to i6, and... Yes. So King to g2, and Centaur to g4 stopping the King. White tries Snake to d7, but this is mate in two. However Black doesn't see it as he now thinks the Centaur is his only piece. So Centaur to f4 check, King to f2, Centaur to h3 check, King to f1, Centaur to g3 check, King to g1, Centaur takes c2 check, King to g2, and this is now mate in two after all these checks. But this fat centaur preferred to go for a snack instead and white resigned the game as he was tired to feed him. <coughs> anyway, the fourth match of this round opposed Cargill from Russia against Colin from Australia. This is in fact a very deep game and despite the blunders, this game is quite interesting. Snake C to D4 and Frog to D7, the counter temple opening, Snake D to E3, Snake F to E7, Centaur to D3, Snake to D6 taking some space, Snake H to G3, Snake to E7, Basilisk to C3, Centaur to D8, Snake to D5 preventing the Centaur from sneaking, Snake to B7, Snake to F5 fighting for the center, and Snake G to F7. We have Frog to G4 and Colin gave a free Snake for nothing. But this is where the position is gonna be complicated with snakes everywhere. We have snake to g7 building a barrier, snake e to f4 supporting the center, snake to f8 doing the same, snake i to h4 preparing a big structure, and here Colinda gave another free snake for nothing. We have frog to c6 kicking the basilisk, snake g to f6 challenging the center, snake to e4 maintaining the structure, and frog to f9 doing the same. We have frog to e2 preventing the frog pressure on e8, snake h to g5 adding pressure, basilisk to g10 adding even more pressure, and snake to h4 defending. The last snakes are mobilized from both sides, and white starts the offensive with snake c to d5. But we have a direct counter-offensive from black with snake to b6 kicking the basilisk. However Cargill seemed not to get the pattern of the frog and blundered the basilisk. We have basilisk to c5 challenging the centaur which refused the trade. Snake to c6 adding pressure on the structure, but comes snake g to f7 sneaking in. Colinda tried a counter-offensive with snake to c4 but forgot that this snake was actually defending the basilisk. But suddenly comes snake to b2 promoting next turn. But again, the frog pattern is tricky. So after trying to save the position, Colinda started to be crowded by Cargill's pieces, and this is by refusing a centaur trade that came a very brutal mate in two moves. But there is a way more insane game that have been played during this round, and it opposed Marsharist from Vietnam against Beef Kiong from Macau. You have no idea of what you're about to watch. Here we go. 
snake e to d4, snake f to e7, snake f to e3, snake e to f7, snake f to g4, frog to g7, snake to e4, frog to d7, the king temple opening. White decided to challenge the center forgetting that the frog isn't protected, and after snake to f5, the centaur comes in. We have a big centaur walk directly to the king's side and Marcherist defends with his own centaur. So black played king to e9, and white despite all his efforts can't prevent black from infiltrating his field, especially the frog. But after a frog exchange, it seems we're now going for the main fight. Snake to g7, king to e2, snake to h5, snake f to g6, centaur to h6, and after snake captures and basilisk recaptures the position gets very complicated. Centaur to d5 challenging the frog, centaur to g4 going for the king, and snake 4 to f6 blocking the basilisk's way. Centaur f3 check was best but black stacked on f, white counterattacks on d3 also defending the king, and beef Kiong made a bet by throwing his frog and his positional advantage on a big trade to get a strong material advantage. But this is a snake game and so every move is tricky. White plays snake to g4 with a double attack winning a snake, then king to e4 with another double attack winning another snake, and after snake to c7, snake g to f6, basilisk to e8 and snake to d4, the win is not so sure for black. And here came a brilliant move from Marcherist, snake to d7 deflecting the basilisk. Black can't ignore this threat as the basilisk can't cut the path and even king to d10 is loosing after basilisk to g10 followed by the brilliant snake to e7. Despite black efforts, he couldn't do a thing to prevent the snake to promote on g10 because of his one snake material advantage on g9. So black had to capture and his deflection trap didn't work. So now white is completely winning. But this is not over at all because black still has some snakes and a basilisk. So we have hydra to g8 check, king to e10, hydra takes g9 check, king to e9, basilisk to e5 check, snake to e7, hydra to f7 check, king to e8 and finally hydra to f6 check. And this is on move 43 that black finally lost his basilisk and another snake. But this is now a snake race to get the hydra the first and black is fully determined to get his revenge. So we have a huge king walk to bring the snake to promotion. But after getting the first rank, white got his hydra first and is determined to stop black from anything. However, black is quicker than expected and white has no other choice at the end to give finally consent to an exchange, and go for rookmate. But something became very clear after white captured black last snake, he suddenly had 50 moves to mate with a king a basilisk, and white doesn't know how to mate with a king a basilisk. Ladies and gentlemen, just enjoyed the show. This is now the 15th move to be played and Beef Kyong successfully gained a draw after a long fight. He just now have to play king to f1. Bruh. Well? And this is on this last game that ends this recap for the second round of the tournament. You can see all the results here for this round for each game played. You can have more infos if you want on the links in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you. Bye.